Mum? The signals, was he? Yeah, yeah, and every day. Uh, it's going to be the CPR. Yeah. It's under the yeah. menu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she ain't getting out. That, that, I'm making a lot. I'm making a lot. She's in the water. That's what they call it. The cat is back. Are you working for the live industry? Are you working for them? Royal British Legion. No, no, I bought them so that we can all have one. So anyone that didn't have one, because it's been so hard to get them I want to tell you a few facts from life. First of all, you want to remember people, you don't need fancy dress parades. You remember them all the time in your heart, soul and mind. And you don't, don't just remember, you actually live the life of gratitude. You live the life of gratitude. If you want to genuinely remember people, you don't need fancy dress parades. No. I've done a lot of work no, for the RDL. I know. Not just the one guy. Not the same. Right a lot of so people are, uh, their bodies were never found. A lot of oh, yeah. airmen were like blasted over many countries. One blast and they have been transplanted. So you can't even say they're part of that or where. You know? They fell part of them. My mum's brother's body was not found. So they put his rocks in his coffin for his funeral. He was with uh, he was in one of those planes, he walked in, I can't remember which one. And then uh, my late husband was in very many services since he was a child. Charlie was in trouble for a support and he was uh, studying for the military research council to plan the war in Spain. Uh, after that he was, uh, at, he was a dispatch rider throughout the London Bridge. This was one of the runs. Every track race in the world is a lot of great big races. I love how the people are doing that. The people are flying and doing that. All the areas that you need to do to the level is still at the power. There were no lights. Heat lights had been removed. There was no lights. All for two to one, three, one, three, two, they call them the Muslim morning mini. The Czech prisoners of war killed some of them with raw dust. So they came down with them and didn't hurt anyone. Are you listening? Can you hear what I'm saying? I'm trying. Now, my thing, after one year he was a dispatch rider and for the signal, uh, for the, what do you call it, dispatch rider, he can abide the bike, the motorbike to ride dispatch at great speed at uh, all hours uh, with no light. He had to know all the ins and outs because there were big blocks uh, from the target. And then he was uh, for two years with the RAF putting up steel doors back for the flying boat because a lot of the airmen were down by the German joint in five years. And the uh, German submarine I think I'll come them. You know, to interrogate them. Oh, the war of the child, you can't have that. So there are these, uh, what do you call them? Uh, fly, uh, flying men all over the, all over the coastline. Yeah, no, not the airmen were really the bombers and that. And these were reconnaissance and where it was this. Some of them also did mapping. So they put the map together to find where the Germans were putting up these launching sites or the secret, you know, so they 
went to CT because he was there at that time and he was taken in by three district medicals, two medicals, because the war office said they can't have unfit men joining because they hold up the work. They are to be looked after by their own and that saps the strength, too, too strength. So they said they have to have designed special tests. They were called full heels in Britain and the, the Canadians and others called them full hems. Pulmonary, urinary, lungs, heart, eyelids, eyelids, mental and stability, all the full heels. And when you speak, when the crew three men at least uh, examining and the board, the man at the board to say to put them in grade. Grade A was top, not fit. Grade E was good for nothing. And then another lot of tests, same thing, one graded one to nine, one was top fitness and nine was total wreck, uh, capable, uh, incapable. And the X was for mentally totally incapable. X, either they were already that or they came out from the war in that status X. I knew one shot. At the, however, then my husband was A1, so that became general service corps, which meant capable of even the most literary type of service anywhere in the world, any worst terrain.